Hey YouTube, Don here. Is the firmware on your 3D printer outdated? It probably is if they're using an open source printer like the Prusa i3. Well, today I'm going to show you how to update that firmware, so stick around. This mainly applies to people if you purchase the kit online with the RAMPS 1.4 port. Oh uh, yeah, disclaimer. Uh, anything with the word firmware and update in the same sentence usually means that you could break stuff, so be careful. Alright, one thing that you should know that the RevRap machines like Prusa i3 runs on open source firmware, which means by the time you probably receive the printer kit, it's possible that the firmware is already outdated. The firmware is called Marlin, and it's open source software, so that usually means it's backed by like hundreds of contributors, which means that development updates are almost daily. Today, we'll only be on focused on the stable branch, so if you feel ballsy enough, then go ahead and use the development branch. To start, we're going to need uh, the source code provided by your printer. So um, if you purchase it from eBay or Amazon or whatever, you should be able to find a link on their site stating where the um, source code should be. And in this particular printer, you can see it's on the Google Drive link. Now, we're also going to need the Marlin firmware. And I'm going to post the link in the descriptions below. The Marlin firmware is hosted on GitHub, and you can just navigate to that and download to zip, basically. After that, we're also going to need Arduino software. If you don't have that already, we're going to need it. And um, I'm also going to post the link in the description below. Now, I already downloaded all the software and it's on my desktop. And we're just going to run through the setup. Now, Arduino, I already installed in my computer. So it's going to say that it's already installed. But you just have to run through a setup, next, next, and then. Now extract the firmware, again I already did it, but extract the firmware somewhere easy like your desktop. So I already extracted both the firmware, the one that's supposed to come with your printer and the one that's uh, released from GitHub. Now for each one we're, we're actually going to go inside and open a file called, it's, it's INO file. If you don't see the extension, uh, that's because your Windows is hiding it, but you should be able to see an Arduino icon next to it. Now I'm going to open both of them. And then lay them out side by side. You can do this by using Windows key left and then um, Windows key right and then it will split the screen. Now, since you have both the screens open, you want to um, locate the configuration H file. The Prusa i3 comes with many different forms, whether it be in direct drive, boat and head, or uh, diff maybe different LCD screens. Everyone has di uh, these differences in the printers, and it's configured inside this configure H file. Uh, the default configuration from the modern source might not be the same parameters as the one that uh, your printer shipped with, so it's very important that we change the settings to what our printer would take. Now, first things first, um, I would actually end up looking at maybe the build date to see when it was released. As you can see, the one that you buy on eBay, the release date is 8-15-2013. That's already two years old. And on this side, this is the, on the right side is actually the Marlin firmware from the website, from GitHub. Um, a couple of things that we do have to uh, work out and change is the motherboard type, uh, the temp sensor, um, the max temp sensor, end stops, homing limits, and the LCD panel type. Now, off the bat, you can see that they're really different files. They're so, um, all right, you can see that this is defined motherboard 33, and that's something we would have to change on this end. So I would have, I would remove this and put 33. I'm just gonna go down the file and mainly look for certain differences, like the temp sensor right now. I'm gonna change this to zero, change this over to six, and then change this to six. If you look up in the options a little bit over here, you just be able to see why you're changing these numbers and what they are for. Um, I'm gonna change Here's another little setting that you might want to keep an eye on, which is the max temp sensor. 
you don't want to overheat the, the extrude or anything so you could always set this to a safe limit that your printer is shipped with which is 245 in this case and max temp would be 270 uh, let's keep going down a little bit and you see I'm just going down the file side by side trying to see uh, differences Alright, so far it seems to be almost the same as everything. Here is something different. The travel limits on homing. Um, I'm going to change this to 200 like it is on the Frogger Tech and the height is uh, 185. Now, here's a huge difference on this file. The one that shipped with the printer, the one that came out in 2013, you see that it doesn't have auto homing. Now the new configuration file, the one that we get from GitHub, comes with auto bed leveling. I mean, I'm gonna skip this whole section because this printer doesn't support it, but that's one of the many updates that the newer firmware has. And you can see the differences right off the bat. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says um, LCD, I believe. Everything else I don't really need. Now in here, I am actually using let's see if I can find it. Define rep rep discount smart controller. So where is it right here somewhere? Alright, I'm just gonna uncomment that and we should be pretty much good to go. Okay, next step you would want to do is actually change the board type to the Arduino Mega and then verify. It will ask you to save the sketch. Now this is what this is doing right now is actually compiling the codes to see if there's any errors or if you mistype something or you forgot something and if everything goes well this is the message you will see if not it, it, all this text will actually turn red and say compiling error and they'll tell you which line of the code that you know you probably had a typo on or something now seeing this is actually good news and the next step now is to actually take this and upload it to your board all right to upload this what you're going to need to do is select the com port that's associated with your printer in my case you see it's com3 arduino mega and all you have to do is hit upload it'll compile the sketch again just to see if there's any errors and then it'll send the code to your printer this should take only a few minutes but as soon as that happens it's going to reboot and that's how you know that you basically did update the firmware and it actually went through I hope you guys enjoyed that video and don't forget to stay awesome. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post a link right here.